Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. Um, mainly, I'll show you why. I went, uh, I didn't go shopping, but I bought a few drugstore things from, mainly from Milani. And I found this lipstick in Sweet Nectar. And, I mean, come on. Uh, so hopefully these are good because I bought two of them. Sorry, I'm making a lot of noise. I bought two of these lipsticks. I got uh, Matte Innocence, and I tried this yesterday and I did not like it. So I don't know if my lips were maybe too dry for the really light nude color. I don't know. I need to try this again. Um, so I'm hoping this one's better because I didn't really like the nude. And I also have a few other things that I'm going to be using as well. Just a few things. I wanted to do like a chit chat get ready with me because I haven't done one in a long time kind of and uh, I like to do these because it's fun to just try random things so anyway let me get my mirror all fixed and we'll start okay so I have actually some other new ish things that I've been trying um, but like the lipstick and a few other things are gonna be the first time using them but uh, some of the stuff I've been using a little bit, but it's still semi-new. So I'm going to prime my face with the Cover FX Anti-Aging Primer. And I got a sample of this like a while back, and I really liked it, so... I ordered it. And I'm also going to use the Smashbox um, Pore Primer or whatever. Because... My pores around my nose are just really big. But I'm only going to put it right here. For foundation, I'm going to use the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have the shade 102. Okay. And I've been wearing this a while too. Um, and I like it a lot. And I'm going to apply it or blend it with a sponge. I like it with a brush too, but I prefer the sponge. What is going on? <sighs> Don't mind my hair today. I slept in braids, two braids, and my hair was like, <laughs> no, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything with it. So this is what we're working with. One thing I know about this foundation is I feel like I have to use a little bit more because it doesn't spread out a lot, if that makes sense. So it's a pretty heavy coverage, but I have to use more because a little bit doesn't cover my entire face. You know what I mean? And also I don't really like the color selection because this is the second shade and it's like kind of dark. But the color before it is like pure white, at least from the swatches that's how it looks. So. I think that would be too light, plus this shade and the shade before are more pinky-ish tones, and I'm usually a little more yellow or neutral. I just need a little bit more right here, because I got acne scars. Alright, I'm going to use them. Uh, Maybelline Master Conceal. I put three little dots under each eye and I blend it out with a sponge. And then that's how I like to do it. I'm not a huge fan of the light under the eyes, like really far down. I feel like it makes my face look funny, like the shape. So maybe it just doesn't work for my face shape, I don't know. Okay, and now I have a little uh, zit, of course. So I'm going to put some of this concealer. Oh, this concealer. <laughs> it's not going to cover it because I picked it. Why do I do that? Okay, that really scared me. I hate when my house makes noise. So this foundation sets like, bam, like that sets. Okay. So I can't cover this 
ignore it. Ignore it. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild contouring palette because I love it with the lighter shade. Um, this is in the shade Caramel Toffee. I really, really like it. <laughs> okay. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I just bought a new one. Um, and I use the shade Sandstorm. I and just set. I know this foundation is pretty matte, so I don't need a lot of powder. Just a little bit. I have like a little spot. Hold up. Okay. So I'm trying to think. I think I'm going to do my face first because that's usually my favorite. I'm going to contour with my Hoola bronzer. I haven't been... I didn't use this for a long time and then I started using it again. I use a fluffy brush. This is an e.l.f. Uh, complexion brush, which is a really nice brush. And I'm just going to bronze my face. I don't think I'm going to do any hardcore contour. <laughs> I'm not really feeling it. So I bought a new blush, and I'm not sure if I want to use it because I really want to wear that orange lipstick, and the blush is kind of orange. I bought the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which is like, I think their most popular one. And it's super beautiful. Yeah, I gotta wear it. I'm gonna wear it. And I'm gonna use this angled brush from BH Cosmetics. Sorry, that was really annoying. <sighs> yes. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. Mm, for my highlight, I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle. This is new. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted this. Mm. My Morphe M438. To put that on. Uh, the thing with this, I feel like I have to apply it like three times. Maybe that's just because I'm crazy, but... Really pretty. I have some spots. Only on this side of my face. So my highlighter, like, really accentuates that, but I can't not wear highlighter. So, I'm gonna wear it. Before we go on, I'm gonna put some lip balm on because my lips are chapped. I'm going to use the Nivea Lip Butter. This is the only chapstick I use because I have kind of freaky deaky lips. It's in like this little pot and it smells really good. Oh, and I always get the um, Vanilla Macadamia. Mmm. Mmm. It's so nud. It's so nud. It's so nud. Let's do eyebrows. I bought um, this Milani Easy Brow. See, I told you I bought a brow. I brought, oh my gosh. I bought a lot of Milani. And I bought a uh, taupe one, natural taupe. And it has a like twist up thing and it also has a spoolie. So I thought I would try it. Let's do this brow pencil. I'm just going to comb them out. I really like the spoolie. I think I'm going to set my brows today just because this is like not very waxy. It's really creamy. So I will use a little bit of a brow gel. This is just the Great Lash, which I need a new one because this one's kind of gross. But I'm going to use it anyway. out the gel because I put so much okay I think I got it let's do eyes 
I'm just going to use my normal MAC paint pot in Painterly. My favorite eyeshadow palette of the moment is this Sonia Kashuk. Um, oh my gosh, it's so dirty. That's a sign that I use it a lot, so it's good. It's good. Uh, this is the Ion Neutral number two palette. First, I always take the second shade on the top, this one. I just love it. But it's really similar. This shade is really similar to one that I have from Wet n Wild. So once it runs out, I'll just use the Wet n Wild in place of it. Because they seriously are like really similar. Is this Kiko one. This is the Eyes 200. And I'm going to take the color right below it. It's like a pinkish shade, but it's really good for a, a um, like a blending shade. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. I said that weird. It's really nice. This one, which I have no idea where it's from. Oh, Studio Tools. I got it at Walgreens like 10 years ago. And I'm going to take the shade right next to the pink one. The, not the warm brown, but the more neutral brown. And I'm just going to put this in my outer eye. And then blend it into the crease. My eyeshadow is going to be super neutral because that lip is going to be crazy. I should have zoomed in. It's okay though, because my eyes, I'm not doing anything crazy, so I feel like you don't need to be really close. And this is a Morphe B77. It's like super cheap. I'm not, I don't love it because it's not really super amazing, but it works and it was like $2. And I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. Oh, that same color that I put in the crease. Just a little bit. I'm contemplating doing a wing. Or should I just do big lashes? I just recently did a wing, so... I'll do the lip color first, and then I'll decide. And... Oh! Oh, before I do that, I'm gonna put on this... I'm super excited about this, because I don't have a nude eyeliner. This is... I got the Rimmel eyeliner in 213 in the nude. And it's for your your eyes. Yay, I love it. It's so soft. This is amazing. Now for lips. I'm going to use the um, Rimmel Lip Liner. This is just a clear. I bought this also yesterday because um, I don't have like any crazy color lip liners and I felt like it would be good for like colors like this where I don't have a matching lip liner so this is just clear well hopefully it's on right that's kind of weird to me okay so I'm gonna take sweet nectar I hope it's good I haven't tried it yet oh my gosh this has a strong smell, oh my word. Whoa! <laughs> that is straight up orange. It's really pretty. Um, and it feels good on, but I had to do like three layers to be able to cover up the weird uneven texture on my lips. So, yeah, but it looks way better than the nude did yesterday. And I love the color. Wow, this color. <gasps> now I feel like I need an eyeliner. What do you think? Probably. Alright, let's do some eyeliner. I'm going to use my... Um, what is this? 
L'Oreal Infallible Gel Eyeliner. This is what I like to use the best. I'm going to use this Mary Kay Angled Eyeliner Brush because it's got, it's like super tiny, so... I don't know how well I'm going to be able to film this because I usually have to get super close to my mirror. I'm still not a winged eyeliner pro. Not even close. Okay. Okay. Let's do the other eye. Now that I have the eyeliner on, I feel like I need some warmth. And I'm going to take the warm color next to the pink shade. Let's apply that. I think that's better. Um, and then I'm going to add a... Sorry, I'm like all over the place in this video. I'm going to add that same color that I started with. And I'm just going to put it on my brow bone. I really like how that looks with the eyeliner. Okay, let's do some mascara. I'm gonna need a waterproof, so I'll probably use the Rocket. Maybe I'll use a little sample that I got recently. I haven't used it yet. The, or maybe I have used it, but I don't remember. Uh, it's the Sills Definer from Gerlane. Is that how you say that? Or Gerlane or whatever. Something like that, and I'm gonna curl my lashes. So I'll use both of those mascaras, but I usually have to use a waterproof first because I got droopy lashes. I think I'm done. I really do like this lip color. It's a little crazy, but I think it's good. It's like a good crazy. So that's all I have to talk about, everything I have to show you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you all next Monday. Bye!